When it comes to emergencies like California wildfires, floods in the south, or even tornadoes on the Great Plains, firefighters have always been on the front lines. And with the global pandemic at hand, first responders are more necessary now than ever. But what does it mean to be an essential worker? Today, I'm meeting with Fire Chief Adam Lerzer of the Fullerton Fire Department. With 20 years of service under his belt, I'm sure to learn a few things. Firefighters obviously have always been considered first responders. What's the distinction between first responders, essential workers? First responders, I would still consider your firefighters, your EMTs, but with COVID and the broadening of essential workers, this is our Super Bowl. This is what we train for. What would be considered a COVID call? COVID call would consist of a patient calling our dispatch center and stating they are having symptoms of COVID. And then we have four person on each of our fire engines. When they respond to a COVID patient, we only have one person go in to touch base with the patient to find out what's going on. That way we limit the exposure to the rest of the crew. We do everything. We do the medical aids, the rescues, the hazardous material. The cats and trees. Cats and trees, as crazy as that sounds, we still go on those. Really? We have cans of cat food in the rigs. <laughs> Put the can of cat food down. So you have to be prepared for everything. We do. I want to get my hands dirty. Let's get suited and booted. Suit them up, boys. What am I gonna be doing today? We're gonna simulate a residential structure, cut open a roof. Awesome. Climb up our aerial ladder. Badass. And to extinguish a car fire. Hell yes. Hopefully we get you all through that without taking you to the hospital. If I perform all of my duties flawlessly today, can I get my hands on one of them shiny badges? Can't give you one of these shiny badges, but I do have something that I think oh, would be good. It's our Even junior firefighter sticker. Even which better. Which is a badge of honor. If you perform today, this will be yours. All right, so we need to retire that red helmet and make sure you're staying safe. We have a helmet for you here. So Look at that. It's like a glove. Fullerton truck six, report of a residential structure fire. Is that us? Go boys! And now that I'm suited, booted, and my heart is racing, it's time to put out some flames. Or maybe not. Is there an easier way to get up here? You guys couldn't have brought the ladder out and... No, you gotta work for it. Okay. <laughs> So he's gonna start by sounding the roof, making sure the roof is solid. Okay, he's detecting any danger ahead of us. Correct, you're gonna use an ax. That ventilation hole acts as a chimney and takes all those superheated gases from the fire underneath, puts it up into the atmosphere. So the purpose of the hole isn't for entry, it's a way for the fire and the heat to ventilate to escape. Exactly. You guys are right down there! Make no mistake, there's a reason why firefighters are known as America's bravest. Part of that bravery is staying in top shape at all times, physically and mentally. Firefighters rarely know what the next call of duty will be, and oftentimes, the circumstances are not for the faint of heart. We are going to be climbing a ladder up until this three-story building. It's about to get real. All right, boys, raise the ladder. What's the goal here? What am I doing? You're going to climb up the aerial ladder, which is extended to about 40 feet into the second story window. Get off of the ladder into that second story. Take two hose bundles down the stairs to the bottom. The margin of error is razor thin, and the amount of different obstacles and danger zones and pitfalls are countless. This is essentially what I would like to call a baptism by fire. But just when I thought it was time for celebration, this hands down is right up there as difficult as anything I've ever done. Hats off to the men and women. There's a reason why they are America's finest, America's bravest, and it's because of what you just saw here. While firefighters obviously are known for doing very rigorous tasks like this, I think now they've found a newfound calling during this whole pandemic, which is to be on the front lines of not just fire, not just saving people from burning buildings, but from saving people from an epidemic that has scorched this entire country, the entire globe. Chief, I just want to thank you for having me today. And you passed the rigors of the beginning parts of being a firefighter. Uh, and now, as cool as this is, you know what I really want? Your junior Fullerton Fire Department badge. So Only gonna... took me 20 years. Christian, you with that? Look, Mom! Congratulations. I'm a junior firefighter. <laughs> <laughs>